the SR10 has a robust transmission and that's easy to see when you're especially looking on the gearbox. The gearbox is from the conventional combines and the whole frame setting in the past we have used them also on the conventional on much bigger combines. That is a legacy from them. Also a big diameter tires and a robust four-wheel drive can be fitted on the rear axle. The picture you hear, you see the two-wheel drive version. Also wider front tires can be fitted and spacer plates to bring the front axle and uh, uh, wider. On the right hand side of the combine you can see the diesel tank and a good grain elevator pipe which goes like a square around the combine. Inside of the pipe there is a plastic pad which keeps all corners are rounded so there are no pockets left for intermixing of grain. Earlier I showed you already that there is even an airstream going in it and you can see it very clearly here. Just to minimize that there would be some intermixing between plots. Also you can see here that a good access because you have a big guard on the, on the right hand side. There's a, this triangle a shield which you can access to the good, a grain pan section. Toolbox behind here. And as this is the tier 5 engine, we have the fuel filter down here. Here you can see also a, a door to get to the radiators. You can open it to make it clean. From the upside you have access to there, but then when you have material, so you can blow them away from here. Engine cooling air goes through this fixed net, and behind that you have radiators. You can access it from it up. There's a door for it. And in the engine bay we have a tier 5 engine for the EU area of the VM Motori engine. 2.9 liter, 73 horsepower. Up in the engine area, over, over the top of the fixed net, you can find a service door. By removing that, you can access the radiator area and clean up the radiators in case that is needed. The engine, a VM motor, as I mentioned, without that blue, it's sitting up here, and the hydraulic oil tank is also with the filter is sitting here. Battery is, is down here under that rubber rubber flap, and air filter is sitting also here. You have this door here which you can access to it, that area. As we are up here, we can see easily also the grain tank lid. We can access it from here. Is this hitch so it will turn on these brackets here? It's easier to access from uh, from the grain tank. There is this on this on its side. You can see there is a step where you can go, so you don't need to be here at the um, cab area to try to access that. And here you can also see the drive for the good grain elevator. As you see the drive is from the corner and behind that you can see the good grain elevator as we saw it down, down here how the pipeline goes in a square around the combine. Not the traditional way that you have a um, chain elevator and then you have an auger at, at the end. On this combine there is an option on it and that's the straw chopper. A record chopper which we are using also on the conventional combines and a funnel. The chopper can be taken out of, of position by sliding it. You don't need to take it all the way off in case you want. And uh, here is a, the bracket which has, has that. You slide it 
away and then the, you can take long straw in case, in case of that needing that. Also on the rear we have another option here, it's the wake box and uh, now at the point it's missing the counterweights but there you can see the bracket for it or then you just can put stones or whatever heavy heavy material to stabilize the combine in case you don't have a straw chopper but in this case we have it and for this customer it's enough for another purpose <laughs>